Hi, my name is Maya Farfer. I'm from Tunisia. I'm really passionate about leveraging technology and especially the potential that AI holds to revolutionize healthcare, make it more accessible, especially for the vulnerable populations. Generation Connect Young Leadership Programme is, as the name probably suggests, about connections and leadership. Launched last year by the UN's International Telecommunication Union and by Huawei, 30 fellowships were awarded to young people, giving them the chance to turn their creative, digital, community-driven ideas into practical reality. And since they come from all four corners of the globe, that's pretty good news for the rest of us. Health, education, agriculture, governance, all of these are projects and solutions in the making. And frankly, the United Nations of the world could certainly do with a few of those. Well, we're here in Geneva this week for the inaugural boot camp of the programme. And we're going to be featuring six of those projects, showing off a range of the regional innovations on offer. First up, Maya Fakferk from Tunisia. So my project is called Service Scanner. It's an AI-based mobile app that aims to turn any smartphone into a screening device for cervical cancer, especially in women across Africa. And what is it that inspired you to start the project? Well, I'm going to take you a few years ago uh, into my medical training in Tunisia, uh, specifically in, into the Tunisian hospitals when I was doing some rotations, especially in the gynecological ward, uh, where I encountered a lot of patients who suffer from late stage cancer. Um, and I realized it was a wake up call for me to do something about it because there are a lot of late stage cancer that we can prevent from happening. And that's why I thought about leveraging technology to target these challenges, especially in the African region. And it's very hard to, to leverage these, the technology that you're after. What is the role of the ITU and Huawei in helping you to, to tackle those challenges technologically? Yeah, well, as you probably know, uh, technology is the backbone of our innovation. So basically we're um, focusing on AI and what we want to do is to use AI to analyze the, the images and to screen for any abnormal cells that could indicate uh, the presence of cervical cancer. So I think where ITU and Huawei can really offer us a lot of help is within the technological aspect of developing the app, enhancing it, uh, making it more efficient, more user friendly. And I also believe that Huawei could help us uh, with the cloud services that they can offer. Um, I really think also that they do a lot of research that it would be really beneficial for them to help us with the, the analytics, for example. As you say, you've listed quite a lot of technological challenges, but Huawei can help, the ITU can help. You're clearly passionate about it. What is the dream outcome at the end of this in, I don't know, five, 10 years for you? Yeah. So I guess like for the short term, for the short term, ideally it would be to uh, make the app more efficient, try to implement it in the K facilities in Tunisia to start with, and then start, start to uh, scale up beyond Tunisia and, and go to other remote areas across Africa. Um, because we, we think that scaling up can have a, a ripple effect so we can do more testing and with, with more testing comes more prevention. And we believe that could help us save a lot of lives.